AI is a term that is uh, not easy to define. Everybody defines in their uh, own way, in their own style. The way I prefer to define AI is that it is the aspiration of machines to imitate human beings. In effect, to imit to imitate human capabilities. Because you see, see, artificial intelligence, both these terms have a little bit of problem with them. They say artificial. Then why do you call it artificial? So you should be actually calling so many other things also artificial. Like farming is uh, artificial, so you should call it art, artificial forest. You should be calling the car as artificial horse. But this is a slightly academic uh, problem. The bigger problem is with intelligence. What, what do you call as intelligence? You know, for example, walking, nobody will consider as intelligent, but it is one of the toughest tasks to achieve for AI systems. I mean, it's 60 years since AI has tried to make robots that walk as well as human beings, but it's only now that we are able to do some good progress in that. So, when we talk about uh, imitating human beings, okay, we need to really define what are the different areas in which the systems are trying to imitate. You know, I have created a classification called SHA or Systems with Human Aspiration. So I divide these systems in four classes, class one to four, depending on what are the capabilities that they try to imitate and what are the results. Are they better than us or are they doing uh, not as good as, uh, as we do? If you look at human history, the last 70,000 years or so, then it has been a grand scaling exercise. From a few thousand individuals, we are now more than 7 billion of us. And we have always been able to provide for most of them. So this has been possible because we have been very good at scaling. So we have developed different techniques, methods so that we can do this. You will see that we started using animal, we, we invented machines and so machines could actually consume a lot more energy that we can. I mean, as human beings, we consume like some 2,500 calories a day, whereas a car can actually consume 800,000 calories in a single liter. So you can imagine the kind of energy scaling that we have achieved. And then, uh, you know, somewhere along the way, we discovered uh, systems like IT systems so that we can regulate this enormous amount of energy that we spend. So with IT systems, uh, we have come to a certain level in this scaling exercise. And I believe that to achieve the next level of scaling, we are going to require now cognitive capabilities in the machines. Take the same example of car and see that uh, we were walking and then, then we uh, started riding on horseback and then we invented car we actually started uh, you know using the cars better with uh, aggregators you know, like uber and ola but what we need now if you want to scale even higher then we need the cognitive capabilities that the car can drive itself and so this is how we reach step in our journey where ai is can see that it is clearly needed. So we will be putting a lot of AI related content on this channel so please make sure that you subscribe to this.